Pink radicchio with its vibrant color stands out in any garden setting. Its striking pink hue is not just a feast for the eyes, but also a signal of its rich nutritional profile. And slightly bitter taste is a delightful addition to any salad bowl. The crisp texture and unique flavor profile make it a favorite among gourmet chefs and home cooks alike. This leafy vegetable, a member of the chicory family, is not only visually appealing but also boasts a range of health benefits. Its vibrant leaves are packed with essential nutrients that contribute to overall well-being. Pink radicchio is packed with antioxidants and vitamins, making it a nutritious choice for health-conscious individuals. These antioxidants help combat free radicals, while the vitamins support various bodily functions. Its unique flavor, a balance of bitterness and subtle sweetness, adds complexity and depth to various dishes. Whether it's grilled, roasted, or used fresh, pink radicchio can elevate the taste of your meals. While often overlooked for more common greens, pink radicchio is surprisingly easy to grow at home. With just a bit of care and attention, you can enjoy a bountiful harvest. Whether you have a spacious backyard or a sunny balcony, you can cultivate this beautiful and flavorful vegetable with a little guidance. Its adaptability makes it suitable for various growing conditions. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore the ins and outs of successfully growing pink radicchio in your own garden, from selecting the right variety to harvesting and enjoying your homegrown bounty. We'll cover soil preparation, watering schedules, and pest management to ensure a healthy crop. Get ready to add a touch of Italian elegance and a burst of flavor to your meals with the rewarding experience of growing your own pink radicchio. Let's get started on this gardening journey and transform your meals with this garden gem. Selecting the right variety of radicchio is the first and most crucial step towards a bountiful pink radicchio harvest. With the right choice, you can ensure a vibrant and healthy crop that will thrive in your garden. There are several varieties of pink radicchio, each with its own unique characteristics, flavors, and growth habits. Some popular choices for home gardeners include Variegata di Castelfranco, known for its beautiful red speckled leaves that add a touch of elegance to any dish, and Rosa di Verona, which forms tight round heads that are perfect for salads and other culinary uses. Variegata di Castelfranco prefers cooler temperatures and matures in about 80 days, making it ideal for regions with mild summers. On the other hand, Rosa di Verona is more heat tolerant and takes around 90 days to reach maturity, making it suitable for warmer climates. When choosing your radicchio variety, consider your local climate and the length of your growing season. This will help you select a variety that will thrive in your specific conditions. For beginners, Rosa di Verona is a great option due to its relatively easier cultivation and wider availability. Its resilience makes it a favorite among novice gardeners. When choosing seeds or seedlings, opt for reputable suppliers that provide healthy, disease-free plants. This ensures that you start with the best possible material. Look for vibrant color, sturdy stems, and well-developed root systems. These are indicators of healthy plants that will grow robustly in your garden. By carefully selecting the right variety and sourcing high-quality planting material, you set the stage for a successful and rewarding radicchio growing experience. With the right care and attention, your radicchio will flourish, providing you with delicious and nutritious produce throughout the growing season. Pink radicchio thrives in well-drained, fertile soil with a slightly acidic to neutral pH level between 6.0 and 7.0. Before planting, it's essential to prepare the soil properly to ensure optimal growth and development. Begin by clearing the area of any weeds, rocks, or debris. Next, incorporate ample amounts of organic matter such as compost or well-rotted manure into the top 6 to 8 inches of soil. This improves drainage, aeration, and nutrient content. Radicchio prefers a sunny location but can tolerate partial shade, especially in warmer climates. Aim for at least 6 hours of direct sunlight per day. Once the bed is prepared, rake the soil smooth and level it out. You can now choose to either sow seeds directly into the ground or transplant seedlings, depending on your preference and the time of year. A well-prepared bed provides the ideal foundation for your radicchio plants to flourish and produce an abundant harvest. When it comes to planting pink radicchio, you have two main options, sowing seeds directly into the ground or starting with seedlings. Both methods have their pros and cons and the best choice for you depends on your personal preferences and gardening style. 
Sowing seeds directly is a cost-effective option, as seeds are generally cheaper than seedlings. It also allows for greater variety selection, as you're not limited to what's available at nurseries. However, direct sowing requires more patience, as it takes longer for seeds to germinate and establish themselves. Transplanting seedlings, on the other hand, offers a head start on the growing season. Seedlings are already established and can be planted directly into the garden, reducing the time it takes for them to mature. However, seedlings can be more expensive than seeds and you'll have fewer variety options. Section 5. Nurturing your radicchio, watering, feeding, and spacing. Proper watering, feeding, and spacing are crucial for healthy radicchio growth and development. Radicchio prefers consistent moisture, especially during the early stages of growth. Water deeply and regularly, aiming to keep the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. Mulching around the plants with straw or wood chips helps retain moisture, suppress weeds and regulate soil temperature. Fertilize your radicchio plants every two to three weeks with a balanced organic fertilizer. Avoid over-fertilizing, as this can lead to excessive leaf growth at the expense of head formation. Spacing is crucial for air circulation and sunlight penetration. Space your radicchio plants 12 to 18 inches apart, depending on the variety. This allows ample room for the plants to grow to their full potential and prevents overcrowding, which can lead to diseases. Section 6. Protecting your crop pest and disease control. While pink radicchio is a relatively low-maintenance crop, it can be susceptible to certain pests and diseases. Common pests include aphids, slugs, and snails, which can damage the leaves and affect the plant's growth. Implementing preventative measures is key to keeping these pests at bay. Inspect your plants regularly for any signs of infestation, such as holes in the leaves or sticky residue. Handpick slugs and snails or use beer traps to control their population. Attract beneficial insects like ladybugs and lacewings to your garden, as they are natural predators of aphids. To prevent diseases like downy mildew and bottom rot, ensure proper air circulation by spacing plants adequately and avoid overhead watering. If you notice any signs of disease, remove and destroy affected plants immediately to prevent the spread. Section 7. Harvest Time – Knowing When and How to Pick Your Radicchio Knowing when and how to harvest your pink radicchio is essential for optimal flavor and texture. Radicchio is typically ready for harvest about 80 to 90 days after sowing depending on the variety and growing conditions. The heads should be firm, compact, and have a deep, vibrant color. To harvest, use a sharp knife to cut the head at the base, leaving a few outer leaves intact. Avoid harvesting after heavy rainfall, as this can make the heads more prone to rotting. Once harvested, store your radicchio in a perforated plastic bag in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. For a milder flavor, harvest the radicchio in the morning when the temperatures are cooler. Remember, the outer leaves may be more bitter than the inner leaves. You can discard the outer leaves or use them for cooking, where their bitterness can add depth to soups and stews. Section 8. Maximizing Yield Tips and Tricks for Abundant Harvests Want to get the most out of your pink radicchio patch? Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, there are always new techniques to learn and implement. Here are some bonus tips and tricks to boost your yield and enjoy a bountiful harvest. These methods are tried and tested, ensuring that you get the best results from your gardening efforts. Succession planting. Sow a new row of radicchio every two weeks to ensure a continuous supply throughout the growing season. This method keeps your garden productive and ensures you always have fresh radicchio on hand. Blanching. To enhance the flavor and tenderness of your radicchio, try blanching the heads for a few days before harvesting. This simple technique can make a significant difference in the taste and texture of your produce. Cover the plants with a bucket or a cardboard box to block out sunlight. This process is essential for reducing the bitterness that radicchio is known for. This process reduces bitterness and creates a milder, sweeter flavor. You'll find that blanched radicchio is more palatable and versatile in various dishes. Companion planting. Plant radicchio alongside companion plants like chives, dill, and marigolds. These plants not only enhance the growth of radicchio but also bring multiple benefits to your garden ecosystem. These plants deter pests, attract beneficial insects, and improve soil health. By creating a diverse planting environment you can naturally manage pests and boost the overall health of your garden. Soil Testing Conduct regular soil tests to check pH levels and nutrient content. Understanding your soil's composition is crucial for making informed decisions about fertilization and amendments. 
adjust your fertilization and soil amendment practices based on the results. Tailoring your approach to your soil's specific needs will lead to healthier plants and better yields. Crop rotation. Avoid planting radicchio in the same spot year after year. This practice helps prevent the buildup of soil-borne diseases and pests that can affect your crops. Rotate your crops to prevent soil-borne diseases and maintain soil fertility. By changing the planting location of your radicchio, you can keep your soil healthy and productive. By incorporating these tips into your gardening routine, you can maximize your radicchio yield and enjoy a plentiful harvest of this nutritious and delicious vegetable. Happy gardening and may your radicchio patch thrive!